welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain system so what is system what are the significance of system basic definitions of system how many things that we need to understand based on system and how we use system in engineering so all those things that i'll be discussing in this session so let us begin this session of system with definition so see system is a device system is a device that performs operation on signals so system that is a device which will be performing any operation as per your requirement on different input signals few more definitions are there so i have mentioned one more it is a device which manipulates one or more signal to accomplish a function and gives new output so system that is what performing operations on signal it is a device which will be manipulating one or more input signal and it will be accomplishing given function and it will be giving new output so this is what a basic definition which is there with signal now let us try to understand that with block so it will be more clear now see if i say this is a system so in this system if i mention inputs over here so there could be one or more input in some system there may be one input in few system there may be multiple input so here we give input signals to this system and here we'll be having output of system it may be one output it may be multiple output so output signals and input signals that is what i have shown and system is performing operation on input signal and it will be giving you output signals which is required one now here sometimes there may be a question based on response so what is response so response means output of system response means output of systems so whatever output is there of system that is even called as a response of system so response means output of system so system that is performing operation on input signals and it will be resulting into output signal which is response and based on our requirement we have so many different categories of signal and system so in this session i'll discuss few categories of system which will gives you basic understanding so let us discuss some types of system so here i have classified system based on two categories one is analog system and second is digital system now when we talk about analog system so in analog system in analog system system is analog so when system is analog it performs operation based on analog input so here you will be finding whatever inputs are there it may be having one input it may be having multiple input so those those inputs will be analog so in analog system inputs will be analog input signals and output will be even analog output so in analog system you will be having processing of system which will be analog processing so output will be analog and input will be analog there are some examples like mic system where we have analog input which is our voice signal and in speaker you will be finding our voice which is amplified one through speaker so that system is analog system where processing is analog processing so this systems are analog system when we talk about digital system so in that case when we talk about digital system in that case
in that case we'll be having we'll be having input to digital system it may be one input it may be multiple input and those input that will be digital input and you will be finding output so those output will be digital output and if you have input which is analog in that case we need to translate that analog signal into digital one so for that we should be using analog to digital converter so if you have input that is analog input if you have input that is analog input then adc means analog to digital converter so that is what we are using to translate analog input into digital input and then we can give it to digital system and here digital system will gives gives us digital output so to get analog output at output side we should be using dac that is digital to analog converter and that will result into analog output so in digital system if your input is analog then first we need to use analog to digital converter then we should be giving it to digital system and then digital system will gives us digital output and then by giving it to digital to analog converter we can have analog output there are so many examples of digital system like your mobile phone that is a digital system when you talk by your mobile phone your input is analog that is getting translated into digital then by processing through digital system it will be giving digital output then to get analog output we should be using digital to analog converter so that we can get analog output computers that is even digital system which is having input that is digital one it will be having output that is even digital output so this is how we can classify system analog system and digital system analog system is costly digital system is cheap the reason is analog system requires complex hardware which is very difficult to fabricate with low cost so complexity of circuit will increase for analog system and complexity of circuit is less in digital system and even we can store signal in digital system so it will be easier to have a processing while it is on next to impossible to store analog system data so it is having complex processing so analog system is costlier it will be bulky and complexity of circuit is more while in case of digital system circuit will be with small size nowadays we are finding circuits are there in chips which is having capability of storing gigabytes of data so where processing becomes easier and we can easily store data in digital system let us discuss few more cases which is there with system so when we talk about system most of the information that is there in analog in nature so most of the information of signal that is there in analog by nature so by having digital system we can work out on analog signal but first we need to translate analog signal into digital system digital signals so most widely used system are a digital system the reason is i have told like it is having low cost processing is easy we can store signal size is less so we use digital system a lot even people are finding like everybody is using mobile computer laptop so all those systems are digital system 
and in digital system we need to use analog to digital and digital to analog converter the reason is naturally data will be analog one and to process on analog data using digital system first we need to translate analog into digital and output will be digital so again we need to translate digital data into analog one digital system performs some operations as per requirement and those basic operations are amplification attenuation filtering sifting so many operations are happening we will be studying some operations in this subject signal and system so at the time i'll explain how we can have different operations on system and few operations that i have listed out over here like amplification attenuation filtering sifting so those are basic operations which we do it in system digital signals can be stored in a memory which increase the use of digital system around the globe so all those things that i have already discussed regarding system i hope that you have understood this so to understand signal and system i'll be making this complete lecture series which will be beneficial to you to understand what is signal how we can use it what is system how to operate on signals how we can optimize our data as well as basic operations of university course which you are studying so to understand all those things just go through my complete playlist of signal and system definitely you will get to know how we can work out with signal and system and please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve problems of students thank you so much for watching this video keep suggesting your requirement definitely that will be helpful to some other students even thank you so much for watching this video